Um, it was, um, I think, um, a bit of a sweet point for us. Um, we know we could have done better, but unfortunately tonight um, we just did what was enough to get the required point to get to the hex. Um, the team is happy. I hope Fiona Tobago is happy that we're in the next stage of this competition. Um, we haven't been there for seven years. Seven, seven years. So. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's another achievement for the for this young team to, 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 to look forward to and to use as a, a platform to, to go on and do bigger and greater things. Sure, sure. Thanks. First question. We have a shiny isn't it? <laughs> Ronnie, first question. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, Kenwin, well, congrats on the, on the result and then getting to the next. Thank you. Um, and you feel so team seemed a bit you know, sluggish took long well after initial what, three or five minutes of the period the team kind of went sluggish there what what can you say maybe uh, cause that um it, it's it's a combination of things things um i believe that we need to deal with um in-house um also, also i think uh, the occasion you know it's 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 pretty tough it's it's like um it's like having a, a, a one nil or a two nil lead in a game, you know, it's, it's the most dangerous lead in the game that you'll ever have. Um, the most vulnerable point for you. Um, I think coming up to the occasion, knowing that we needed a point, maybe it, 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 it played a part in, the, in, in our minds that, you know, we just need to do just enough. When it's not something that um, we should make a habit, really. You know, so that with um, quite a few other things, uh, I think, um, contributed to, to the way that we started the game and, and I guess the way we ended it. Can you, uh, if you could just for us before we move further, tell us your reactions on the performance of the other Jones in the team tonight. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh well uh, he did well, you know, um, at the end of the day this this is this is um, a long campaign and, and and from time to time we're gonna need um, different people to, to take the game by the scruff of the neck and to make something happen and fortunately for us tonight um, of course he was on the end of <clears throat> on two brilliant passing moves or movements of the ball I'd say within the team and using the right place to be able to, to finish and congratulations to him but moreover I was more impressed with the fact that the way we played the ball in order to get him into that free space to, to be able to do his job. Okay, next one. Go ahead. Kevin, your own performance tonight, um, how satisfied are you with your performance? Yeah, I mean, I didn't score, so I'm not going to be satisfied, but at the end of the day, more of I'm satisfied that we into the hex. Um, the most important thing tonight was was, was getting the, the, the required result to, to get into that stage, so I'm not going to sit down and, and feel sad or, or cry about what happened tonight, you know. Um, the bigger picture is, is that we're into the other stage of the competition. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Thanks. 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 Thanks go back to training and try to plan for the game against the US. Um, by no means we're going to take a step back because it's also an important game because positioning, I think, in, the, in, in, in this group where you finish determines where you start in the hex. So we're going to be looking to, to finish on top of the group. So hopefully we might have home advantage to begin the, the the hex. Who knows? It might count. It might not count. Um, but at the end of the day, it's. Um, I think it's a. It's a long road to go. So after the game on Tuesday, we have maybe a month, month or two months, to, to go again before we start the hex. Kevin, okay. okay, first of all, great performance, great focal point play, bringing the midfielders and the other attackers. But this performance, it wouldn't do going forward. What aspects of the performance do you think could be changed or? or manipulated with respect to tactically or psychologically going forward? Um, there's an old saying, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it. Um, the team itself, where I don't want to say we're set up to play a certain way, but 
we play a certain style of football and I don't think that you know trying to change certain things going forward is going to make a massive difference as you see tonight the way that we play um, and even in the past it usually gets us results um, gets us on the end of great finishing moves um, we have great passing sweeps well good passing sequencing um, at times and and being able to be at the top of that focal point to, 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 to bring the other team in is um, is fantastic for me at the end of the day in every game I play I'll, I'll, I'll be the main focus because of my um, profile and I have no problem with that because it frees up the other people in the team to be able to express themselves and, and to get the job done. Okay. Um, you didn't play anything that has been so work up for them right now do you see your role in terms of guiding like, <laughs> guiding the team yeah to um, you know this next level and you know keeping them focused on the task at hand. Well um, it's my job to try and get them through game by game to that stage. Um, I was the youngest on the senior team's um, exploits back in 2006, well from 2004 to 2006, and it was fantastic for me. Um, the team at that time had a lot of mature heads, I would say, a lot of 30-year-olds, and you know, with very few younger players. Um, now it's very few 30-year-olds or 29-year-olds with a lot of more 24, 25s, 23s, and 20s, you know. So it's it's important that that apart from myself, the people that are older and have been on the international stage be able to share that experience and, and more or less be the glue that keeps the, the the group together. So I don't think it's it, it's it's any it's, there's any greater reward than getting to World Cup. Have done the entire journey once. I've been part of it. I will come before that. So for me, it, it, it will be an important step into the legacy of Trinidad and Tobago, the legacy of the next generation of footballers, and also a legacy for myself. Okay, next question. Yeah. Um, because I was asking the defense, we sometimes tend to concede some <coughs> soft goals, the coach alluded to that as well. Too. Well, um, that's something that, you know, <laughs> We, we will try to eliminate. Um, not every day a doctor has a good day. He might kill somebody one day, you know, but at the end of the day, you're not going to stop going to the doctor or him stopping his job, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, we're going to just keep working, try to fix the mistakes, try to lessen the mistakes that we make and continue to play because so far we've been doing well and the, the more or the more mistakes you learn along the way is the better it's going to fare you for the future. So I'm not overly concerned or by the by, by the mistakes that we made, but at the same time we know what we have to do to tighten things up and the experience at this stage is good because we're going into a different type of the competition um, next round. Okay. Yeah before the game um you're going to please with the limited use of the hasty preparatory and um, main field. You think that's impacted the game any in any way tonight? It will always impact. When we went to Guatemala, they stuck us in the back of a field where we had to walk through a trace, um, a couple of cows somewhere. Um, we went through a town where one morning there was a little um, murder. Um, while they trained somewhere good, you know, um, every time we play in Trinidad and Tobago here, for some reason, they always take something away from us. There's always something that is giving us less of an advantage every time so that's not for us to sort out that's for the people behind the scenes to deal with however they decide to at least help us out a little bit will be really nice the next question all right uh, gentlemen can we thank you for being here with us and uh, good luck on tuesday